don't really mind. Uh, I haven't seen any competitive team purely taking uh, a lot of interest in it. Anyway, we're gonna go start it. So here we go with the VOD and um, VOD <laughs> entrance. Um, welcome everyone to Vanilla TV here at the TF2 Winter Warm Up Invite Cup. Uh, sponsored by Sparkle and uh, hosted by Excello at Excello.net. Check them out, please. We're going to watch a second map between Yotech and Broder. That's the first map ended in Yotech's favor. 5-4, to four. Broder is going to look to take this map. Costa with me. It's going to be a Mirabo and James. How is the second map looking to you so far? It's looking beautiful. We had double sniper there from Broder. It's Ebisai on Choke and uh, Jukebox on the big door, but it didn't really work out for them. I heard a lot of headshots, but uh, they just didn't have that point on the presence. First time I've seen that double sniper strategy. Is that a standard for Brugger? Um, it might be a mistake. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't seen the play Gully Watch in a very long time, especially since Everchly joined. And uh, Maxim actually got a lot of crits in. There we go. Look the at Tavish came, came in. straight up from behind. Wow, yep. takes out Torden and Maxim. Meat shot, meat shot. Unbelievable. That's what happens when you don't have uh, enough scouts, man. You just get destroyed on the flanks. Totally unseen. Tavik playing Scout like he's a spy, taking people down in one hit. <laughs> Here comes the, the regular Uber coming in into last. They're going to have to take down a soldier. Leon gets taken down, but there's no pressure on the Delman so far. Now it comes in. Is he going to be able to do it? Looks like Yotek is going to go straight off and 1-0. to zero. They're quick. They're, they're, they're very quick at just starting, very solid, very focused, everything like that. And uh, I'm going to be curious if they're going to start 4-0 again on this map. Yeah man, Brooker just needs to work on getting the basics down. Don't show me these fancy double sniper strats. Just play a solid game here and take these guys <laughs> down. It's a mixed team. For there we go, line, heavy, heavy for Dr. Leon. I called it before, I was curious if they wanted to do it, and now they're gonna go. Jukebox, uh, Jukebox, Sebasai is actually going soldier now. What? What's going on with these classes? Jukebox going sniper, Leon going heavy, and Sebasai is changing from scout to soldier, and it works. It absolutely works. There's a scout Jake. on the flank here though. And he does get the double frag, wow! Toad not showing any love on the heels for Kozak and Zebesai there. Scout and Sniper goes down easy to Droso. The thing about it, having a heavy, you're gonna have to pop them. That, that's kind of how it works. Absolutely, Droso sneaking in there, getting those 3 HP meat shots. But they have got the point here, and that's all they want. They want to inch their way forward slowly but surely, using the Sniper and the heavy combining those extremes in range. This is proper off-glassing. Like, real off-glassing. Uh, there was an uh, off-glass cup earlier this morning in Australia. Broder is participating in it seven hours later. <laughs> oh, did you see that? <laughs> Maggie went down. That's really sloppy from Extremer, actually. He just didn't put enough damage in and choke, and they were able to walk in, but Maggie got out. Sorry, Maggie got taken out eventually after he came through. And Leon's gone down heavy, it's down here, and Torn is totally set with it from his soldier. It doesn't matter anyway, he could have done nothing about that bullet to the brain. Sniper area here, here we go. Only four frags of a sniper on this middle point, and now it's two snipers still left around middle. I, I, saw, I swear I saw Tafik still middle. Yeah, there he is, he's behind the demo now. <laughs> he takes it down. And now it's going to be sniper versus sniper, here you go, Jukebox wins. And Bird is going to pick up the second point. Tavik performing a drive-by in Magasin there, he got sprayed <laughs> down like a sucker. Oh, look at Boomy, so low there, 5 HP goes down, but Linus is taking the high advantage here. He's all over Jukebox, he's down, and he is in position for a back tap, but really he should be on last. Yeah, totally out <laughs> of position there, Leon guns him down, and they're going to move in and take up a defensive spot here whilst they build Uber. The Suckers only on 20%, Torden's sitting on 60. Is this crits? Oh, it's Uber for both medics. They're gonna run, oh, oh my. They need to start realizing that now, that Tafik is not gonna miss those shots, ever. Uh, point actually gets capped, wow. Uh, <laughs> I don't think either of us saw the scout coming in, but all of a sudden the point is capped and it's one all. But to my point, Torden cannot ever Stand still or not jumping or not crouching and he cannot just regularly walk because Tafik is going to make those shots That's as easy as it is And again, oh, here we go with the weird class setup of Broder. It's class number one <laughs> Both guys straight onto the point there from the do take they know that heavy slow so they can get so much time on there Before Broder have even made it onto the high ground and they're being totally shut down here The heavies of you take are just spamming the hell out of Leon and he can't do much there Scout's doing a great job, really uh, using that times two capping ability yep. to the best. 
And look at that, Sniper down as well. They're really just all over the place right now. Torgan getting into a good position here with the Jukebox, but... Or sorry, it's Zebel who's playing Soldier now. This is strange, all this class switching. And they do have Uber. they're going to yeah. go last right now. <laughs> As far, as far as I understand the strategy, it's going to be 100 versus 100, so I'll stop talking as soon as they come in. But the, the thing about it is that you need... The Heavy only has time to walk up if your Sniper makes the shots. And Jukebox didn't make any shots there on Metal. The Heavy did not have the time to come in, and here we go. It's going to be an Uber versus Uber. There's uh, a lot of stuff happening right now. The Uber now comes in on the left Heavy very, very late. And Leland is only 100 HP. It's 55, and he does get taken down. I do not understand the preference there for Torden. Um, to heal Mackisum instead of Leon because now they're without a heavy. Uh, it's only a four versus two situation and Jukebox is still playing Pyro on Riverside. Well, I think uh, Torn had just really engineered such a great advantage there. He wanted to push through with Mackisum, but Leon was totally oblivious to that scout who'd like jumped over his head and was standing behind just waiting for the Uber to fade. But it worked out all right for them in the end and it looks like they're going to cap CP2 here. And 1-1 one, one right now, this game is as close as can be. Pushing them back from last year, this could be a heartbreaker round for you, Tech. It's a bit of a weird uh, a weird map so far. Class is everywhere, everyone is doing something different. Jukebox only now going back to actually go and um, and play Soldier probably again. Soldier or Sniper, let's see what he's going to be able to pick. And he goes Sniper, there we go. It's the class limit one. Um, what they're going to be keeping doing pretty much the entire game long. You can see Leon kind of poking in, but Tafik's already playing Sniper. They haven't figured that out yet. Look at Tafik, he's kind of, he's waiting for Jukebox. He knows, he knows. And yeah, they must know he's sniping if they're playing so far back. And they do get in for free. Those stickies did nothing. Actually, that Uber pop there. I called that wrong. Look at Zemis, he jumps up, unbelievable! The sucker goes down as well to the minigun of Dr. Leon, but really using that new feature on the map. And there's a soldier below you, look at Linus, he's jumping up behind, he's... Oh wow, such poor timing, there we go. I'm gonna jump into a heavy, oh. what an idiot. Yeah, oh. That's the thing about playing a heavy, I, I, I said this before, and uh, I mentor quite a lot of teams nowadays, and I say this, if you run a heavy on Gullywash, and you have the high ground, your medic cannot die to jumping soldiers, it's not possible. Because the heavy just shuts everything jumping down. Yeah, man, uh, I would have just put some time on the point there if I was uh, Linus, but like he was, he was totally screwed whatever happened, but jumping into a heavy like that, that's crazy, man. 70% versus 40%, uh, Broder definitely has an advantage, uh, but with a crazy game like this, it's going to be very hard to keep up with Duber advantages all the time. I think Thornton will do a fine job. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. 95% now on left. And uh, they're going to send in Soldier first, Heavy second, Devilman third, and that's going to be pretty much the right order to do. Soldier going to be around the point, Heavy coming in, Devilman does not even need the Uber whatsoever, and there's no Uber for the sucker, but he's on 95%. Is he going to be able to get it? Looks like at 99, he does have Uber right now. They're going to be able to block the point, but at what cost? Wow, Zebel just unkillable there on the point. Survived for so long, got so much time on the cap point. And this team may be able to capitalize. In comes Leon, he's got them right where he wants them. Wow. wow, Tavik going huge! Keep an eye on Jukebox for just a little second. Uh, Torden actually orders him to get the hell out, uh, which I think is a better decision. Jukebox, is he going to make the shot? He's not going to make the shot. And uh, he sees Soldier, he sees Medic, he's, he's going to look. See, it's a very greedy sniper, Jukebox, in general. He is going to look, but uh, yeah, your yeah, tech's going to be able to pick up the second point without a lot of trouble. But uh, the Euro advantage is definitely still for Broder. I don't think they know that. Uh, they're going to try to capitalize on it. Look at that. They're going back door entrance. They're going through garage. And here we go. It's 100% versus 95. Are they going to be able to take the sucker off guard? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no frags from that. Uber. Ubers are traded. And Dr. Leon's coming in here. Look at Leon and Jukebox pushing in on the choke. But, oh, they've been divided and conquered. So many players going down for Broder right now. Torden down, Maggie down, there's Zerbo down. You take looking in a dominant position right now. There is a scout up top though, that's gonna slow them down. Sniper scout a heavy up is never gonna be an easy way to push through. Look at that, the sucker goes oh, down! Oh, so Perfect unreal. teamwork there from Broder. Total breakdown in communications, to be honest. That scout should have been called up top, and they still pushed anyway. Not a care in the world. Boomy didn't look behind once, and it didn't even matter that Leon was right in front gunning him down, because Prozac was coming in, putting those scatter shots between his shoulder blades, man. It's gotta hurt. Yeah. There we go, Tafik does get taken out, he tried to snipe, uh, tried scouting in from the back. Sebaside was all over that stuff, and uh, it's gonna be a weird scenario for Sebaside to play scout on one map, off-classing a sniper, and then going soldier the next map. It's a bit awkward. 
Awkward indeed. Let's see, both snipers again. Where is Tavik? Yeah, Tavik on that standard right spot. Watching straight in the lobby here. Here comes Jukebox. Which way will he go? He's going to go top side here. He's going to try and peek straight onto that medic from Riverside. No, he switched back again. There he is on the middle entrance. Peeks in, hits nothing. But the Ubers have been popped. And it's Zebesai leading the whip again, getting time in that point. Totally uncontested. Torden flashes him with the Uber. Excellent there from Torden. Zebesai's really going to cut this in his own. <laughs> really love that. That's beautiful, man. It's a very known tactic nowadays. Um, I'm not quite sure who did the tactic. It might have been Broder, it might have been Epsilon. I'm not 100% convinced on that. Um, but it's like using a heavy and let your soldier jump on the point, Uber him for a little bit, and then just leave him and stick it up the point. If the enemy does not have Uber, they're not going to be able to block that point ever. Uh, it's a very, very known, very good tactic, actually, a while. We probably missed it over the past couple of months. Uh, and uh, now we're going to see if how Broder's going to play this. Look at that, Jukebox. Now, uh, Leon is just going to say, you know what, Jukebox, I don't care what you do. I'm just going up. He does get taken down, and Broder's going to lose this middle point. Didn't really work out. Jukebox seems to be sniping fine, but not a middle point. <laughs> the sucker goes down. Zebo sneaks in from behind. That could have worked out quite well for Broder, actually. They were in a pretty decent position. Leon had got up the rump quite quickly. And he really had the attention of you, Tech was watching it. And Magison jumped in, but he was like totally undetected. And yet he did no damage. Like he could have just absolutely crushed him there. But you take come out trumps. Well they do lose the medic. There's a spy on here, man. Everybody loves that spy action on Gullywash. He is the man with the knife. Estroso, he's in the sneaky spot. Oh <laughs> Maximum gets taken on. down though. We didn't actually pay attention to that whatsoever. Uh, Jukebox coming into Riverside, he's actually going pretty far up. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. He's going to go for the sneaky pick. Um, actually, his entire team pushed up. I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, let's see what Jukebox is going to be able to do on this right hand side. As uh, it looks like Yotech is going to try to defend this, and uh, Jukebox doesn't get a frag off. Steel doesn't get a frag off. It looks like the Sucker's dodging is going to be too much for him at this moment in time. Ballsy play here from Yotech. Great height advantage from Bruder right now. Crits. Am I correct in saying that? I thought I saw crit. It is, it's been popped as well. Oh. I need some sort of crit announcer somewhere on my screen. Someone make a spectator hunt for me like that. <laughs> Come on Robin Walker, stop putting all that money into Dota 2 and give us some proper spectating options. We're gonna keep pushing <laughs> here though, the pressure is on to be no, the body it's shot of the Drosso gets another one. But Leon's doing work Leon is doing fine so actually much here and the pyro coming in. It looks like uh, Broder's going to be able to hold this uh, by using a heavy, and that's it. Tweak is going to have to try and find that heavy, he's not going for it, he's in instead he's trying to go for a soldier. Linus types in lol on the death chat, he must be wondering how they messed that one up, Pledge. But uh, Broder do hold last year, and it's still 2-1 to them. We do want them to win, of course, so we can see a third map, baby. And I've heard uh, that Torden isn't too impressed about the third map no. choice. Of course, it's no. the new foundry. But charge is ready here, and it is still crits, right? Yep. Here we go. Oh, so the distraction there. In comes the crit. Oh. Managed to pick off Zebo. Torden switched there around. The control point is being contested. And wow. uh, yeah, point is going to be able to cap off. I think we're both a bit features there. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Is you throw something, something. I, don't, I don't care if it's scout, pyro, spy, soldier, anything you want, throw it in there, then let the down man go in with crits. That's the order in which you want to do it or else the crits is not going to have any success whatsoever. Yeah, it did look like they didn't even need the crits there man, they were just beasting, yeah. put in all the one on ones right there. And uh, again it's the heavy, oh, sorry two soldiers is what I was going to say, from Broder they've changed it up, playing more dynamic, two soldiers, two scouts, equal rollouts for both sides but uh, Soldier shot for both sides too. This is uh, like a mirror matchup right now. It's a demo man underneath the extremer is undetected under that bridge. He may start spamming up stickies here. He's gone for the little jump up. Look, utilizing that new feature of the map. <laughs> he's picked up the med pack. He's coming in behind here. He's been spotted though. And he is going to be quite ineffectual there. But there's no, a soldier, soldier too. I think I'll play from Linus. Nobody's going for Torn though. Why, why did they focus Prozac instead? That, I, that was a mistake. I think we can both agree on that. Uh, there was a Delman, Delman medic right next to him. Um, Torden did have to pop his Uber though. I didn't really see why. I think he was just scared of the soldier. Um, yeah, he because he's full health right now. He never took a health back. Well, yeah, it's basically a free Uber anyway. Like, he's not going to be that far behind because the sucker went down. 
And mm, they need to take that high ground here. They do get Drosso, but Soldier's looking a little buff. Uh, look, this aggressive sniper here from Davik. He just walks forward. He is getting spammed back, though. But he's going to try and pick crits, this by the way, as well. James. They have defensive crits 100% right now. See if they're going to be able to use oh, this. Crits comes oh, in. They spotted it. Two bolts has just come in from behind. Pincer move. Straight in round behind him. Didn't even go for that point. Went for those kills. I played to Brodo there. Good communication. Um, and I already saw that early on the middle. Is it's just very very solid communication by Brodo. The, the middle got so chaotic, three versus three situation, and I saw Zebesite as a soldier um, pre-firing the choke because he knew a scout was going to come up here. Killed the scout. Very clear comms by Brodo. I have to say, very clear, very good decision making on this map so far. And it's got him into the lead. Yeah, both soldiers or both sets of soldiers here, sort of trying to feel each other out, waiting for the other to jump. Brodo, you go up first, and Chukbox. That's eating a rocket there, he's down, Leon's down, both soldiers down for Broder, that's what happens when you go first. Pretty Liam, but Maggie and Torden trying to push in from Tokyo. here, this scout is doing all sorts of work getting in their face right now. That's Prozac, he does get chased down by Drosso, he should have made that call, he knows there's a scout behind, Maggie is on to him already. He's got that teamwork wall hacks. And he's gonna escape, yeah, he's got no balls. I would have ran in and forced her, man, you know, because I'm a nerd baller, but I don't know about you, Pledge. Yeah, you're a nerd baller, that's 100% correct, and you would have made uh, the, make, <laughs> the most stupid, indecisive decision ever. I 100% uh, agree with that, and we can see a scout, Prozac, actually going through the super secret highway. That's the that's what I'm actually going to call the interest on choke now. And um, we're going to see what uh, Yotex is going to be able to do here. Uber, um, Uber's half been exchanged, or did Torn go down? No, Torn did not go down, Uber got exchanged. And uh, Torn is going to be able to force, uh, going to be forced out. It looks like Broner, they haven't really... Like, their decisions are good, and their calls are good, their DM is fine, but they seem to be out of position here and there. I, I think that's the main problem why they've lost those two rounds so far, is because they haven't really found that position yet to just kill Yoyota. Well, so they're really out of position here. Jukebox trying to do work. Magnuson jumps up to help them out, but it is too late. They are uh, really slowing down Yoyota though here. I, I can give them that much. Magnuson is... They're gonna keep right fighting! Now. Keep fighting! They're not gonna stop yet! And, uh, scout behind it! Zebesite yeah. coming up! He's right onto the sucker now! Looks like oh, he, he gets the Uber! He gets the Uber! He gets the Uber off! There's a sword we're gonna pick him up here and choke this He's going through the go super down. secret highway! I don't... Oh, that's actually the perfect decision! And someone go... Um, there you go! The sucker is protected! That Uber saw coming in to just get the Uber, run out with the tails between your legs, through the secret highway, and uh, he did fine, but now Broder's Uber's gonna come in! And without an Uber, you're not going to be able to defend that. And uh, Sniper, I don't know who you are, but you got out of life because of air strafing. Never mind. Yeah, Boomy did a nice job forcing that against three players on Choke there. That defender's advantage. And yeah, it's equal Ubers again. Well, slight advantage, sorry, for you, Take, but they're really a position here at those for Rock. Trying to get to that high ground. The sucker does surface. Oh, that position up. here. They're, they're so caught now at the Rocks. And uh, we can see. Like, Broder right now is all over Yota. Uh, Medic goes down, and, and Devilman is probably going to be very quick to go down unless Maxim actually catches by. Ma Maxim does get taken down here, but with one soldier coming up, Boomy can't kill five people. Like, it, let, let's be honest here. He's good, but he cannot kill five people. 77 HP, still at rocks, and the scout is just taking it easy. This is the way you have to play it out. The, the soldier gets taken down, and now they're going to slow push back onto the spire because there's no Devilman yet up, and they're going to grab this. Our control point is being yeah, I definitely hear what you're saying about Yo-Yo Tech. It's like uh, they want to be aggressive, but it's really just costing them rounds at the minute. They tried to be aggressive and hold them last, and they just got destroyed on that previous round. And they're just just too slow, man. They're just they're making decisions too slowly and reacting too slowly. And there goes the sucker just standing totally alone in the lobby. Gets picked off. Good job for Extremer and Tafik. Uh, Andros are actually for managing to hold that push off. Jukebox on his own is not going to be able to manage it, and Prozac went down as well. So Torn the only one up. He's got crits. He's going to try and crank up that Uber and Vanny's sucker has spawned already though. I think he's uh, he's still going to switch Torn because this is not no Torn. This this was not a good decision. Um, the sucker spawned a lot earlier, and even with many gun, he has 30% advantage. So. Uh, Tornan might have to crits barely in time, but the sucker's gonna know that the option is there and they're gonna keep on building. Or, you know, not, because it's almost, already almost equal. Well, it's usually a given that, um, to push metal here. 
you're gonna have to Uber. Yep. Unless you just lose people on the flanks. Like that's probably what Torden's thinking. He knows that they can back off and read crits in after you take of Ubered in. Okay, it is quite difficult to come in here. I think the best option if you want to get in without now. going through As I said, it's gonna be close. A hundred versus ninety. Haven't been building for the past five seconds. Here comes the crits! Yo, the sucker goes down. <laughs> wow. That's the money shot, baby. That's the money shot from Leon. He's gonna clap his hands even though he died. That's the way you have to do it. And Verda cleans up and they're gonna take this round. What is the sound of a dead man clapping? I, pro I don't know. Two bottles of whiskey. Come. Straight on to the last. The sucker's gonna try and go huge here. Oh, <laughs> that arrow. Not today. Big box headshot. Worth it, worth it. Totally worth it. And Tafik uh, gets batted down in the end. 42 now, Broder in the lead with nine minutes remaining. It's a pretty back and forth game so far, James. Yeah, it's still a game to lose right now, though. I really hope they can close this out. I want to see that third map, man. I'm really enjoying this. So the company is great, I gotta admit, you know. Sitting here with one of the best casters in the game is the place, man. But it's got off the middle right now, man. What do you see? Tell me what you see, bro. I see a lot of people dying uh, on both sides, but it seems like Broder is going to have the best uh, of it so far. Extremer still up. Maybe he can. Uh, he's going to be able to do something, but Maxim got a buff. Um, you can see Yurita kind of trying to make something happen, but it's only going to manage to make them uh, die more. <laughs> Except for the fact that I forgot that Tweek is an aim baller and he actually managed to kill Torn in two shots. Plus Leon. Yeah, man. Plus Maxim. Just stunting around in that. Um... Using the geometry of the map to his advantage is what I'll say. Wait, he was... We said it last map, didn't we? It's like the scouts and the dome man from Yoyotech. And even though Extreme is not part of Yoyotech, they seem to have great synergy, just working together. Yeah, well, Kiedis is just a retarded, aggressive idiot as well, right? So it fits easily. <laughs> yeah. Am I right, Yoyotech Kiedis? He's sitting on the STV here, man. Too cool for school, he's not gonna play. But. <laughs> Now he knows Extremer is a better demo man than him, that's probably why they, uh, why they changed their lineup. The Sucker now, 85% crits, getting, trying to get assassinated by two scouts, and now the Sucker is going to have to retreat. He's not going to be able to help his people there. He can barely heal the scout, but the scout's going to have to take... Why are they not just retreating? 95% crits right now. Torden probably doesn't notice, and now the crits. Let's uh, watch for the money shot here. Oh, that crits is popping. The demo man's taking so much damage. He doesn't die, though. Maxim yeah. dies now. Is the soldier going to be taken down as well? No. Nope. Extremer goes down. And uh, Extremer not as good as a money shot as Leon had last time. <laughs> I'll take that trade any day of the week, man. Three players down here for a demo man. And Scout on the flank as well. Yuritech is going to have to get out. Except for Drozo. He's just not going to suicide in. Yep, there you go. He gets taken down. Bad, bad decision from Drozo there. Just dying randomly on his own. Uh, four down. Uh, only two respawners now for Yuritech. And I think Broder is just going to keep pushing. Torden already has the Uber. They're going to keep going here. The Uber comes in. Uh, Scout going for the snipe. Did Linus just actually go down there? Um, that's a very weird thing to see. Uh, Torden throwing in his soldiers into last. And the sucker, 95% crits, does get taken down. It's one hell of a shot there. Wow, Leon just clutching at the end. I thought they'd missed an opportunity there. They could have pushed a little bit faster in my book, but Leon, just in the nick of time, gets that before the crits. And that is beautiful. That'll be one for the frag movie. Jeez. Eyes on Jukebox, please, ladies and gentlemen. Left top hand side, here he comes to snipe. Is he going to take down the medic? No, he's not. Um, he had the shot, but he missed. Let's see, a soldier's going to come in for him now. He body shots him for a little bit. Jukebox is going to be the player to watch in this little downtime that we have. It's going to be about uh, tw 20 seconds before any team pushes. Sniper versus Sniper, Tweak versus Jukebox. Place your bets now. I'm watching now. them, man. I'm watching them. Jukebox <laughs> on that river side. He's trying to get Medic, but they are wise to his game. <laughs> oh, Tweak taking that, Jukebox. Ah, it's oh. a one for one exchange. Broder's going to be fine. And uh, with the Uber advantage of 35% that they got, like right now, Osebicide dies though, it's 4 against 5, now it's 4 against 4, let's see what's going to happen, as Linus is going to try his very best to defend from Darkroom entrance, I like this play from Linus a lot, putting himself in Darkroom, but the circuit goes down, Drozda goes down, and now the players from Broder are coming in, Linus takes oh down 2, God. but Torden himself is going to be able to cap that off together with Mackison, 5-2, 5 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Prozac man, beasting on that last point, such a pick on Extremer, so vital. Killing that demo man in those last defenses. Yeah. And then coming in for the cap time too. Look at him, top of the scoreboard. Candidate for man of the map right now. Torden with three dominations as well. That's what I'm seeing when I look at the scoreboard. Dominations. <laughs> yeah, I hear what you're saying, bro. 
Uh, Prozac there gets the go. first frag again. He's shot down Droso. <laughs> Look at uh, Broder playing from the floor here. Oh, double Send soldier now coming out. in from Broder though. Is going to be able to force that out, but uh, Maxim comes in a little bit late, takes that extreme right now. Leon is going to try again. He's going to say, you're not going to stop me this time. And Seven side with a little bit of help, they're going to take down everyone, take the next middle. Yeah, man, Linus should have just stopped for a second there and pressed tab to see that he was yeah. four against two. But they just had to go for it, man. He must have hit a rocket and thought, yeah, I'll chase here for some frags. Look at Leon, he's already all the way on last. Look at that. He's going to be able to take down Drozo. Is he going to take anyone else? Now, Boomy takes him down. One for one exchange for a Roma, that's fine. They're not gonna, they're not really gonna matter that. And uh, Joe, so that's chat we don't really accept here at TF2. Yes, nice yes, this is a family show. We don't say words like fuck and uh... Oh. Oh well. Sorry guys. But Joe, <laughs> did swear, it wasn't me. I was just quoting him. <laughs> Look at this. Broder pushing in right behind him. The sucker doesn't know where to go. He takes a rocket in the ass, thinks twice about pushing out. Completely out of position, Yo Tag. Like, Tafik is sniping from the main. It doesn't really make any sense anymore. Joso, a little bit of scout duel here in the valley is gonna take Severside down while playing to Joso. And uh, Broder, like, they're gonna be fine with this scenario. Five to two, four minutes remaining. As long as they just hold, they're gonna win this map and they're gonna be able to focus on Foundry. Foundry, that is a map I've only played and not yet <laughs> spectated. It should be good. But Tafik up top here. He's watching Chug, he's trying to get Magus and but Soldier Bomb, but this is a strange one right yep. now. They're not committing one player here. Leon's in on his own. Maggie comes in to back him up, but it's too late. It looks like you take a Catalyst and Ubercharge is ready for the sucker. But Jukebox oh. is ready for the sucker too. <laughs> in here, but he's watching the wrong side right now. Let's see what's you. gonna happen here. Both snipers. Can, yeah. can see Tafik looking as well. Ubers have been popped. See what's gonna happen now as Tafik comes in. Sees one oh. scout, it's not gonna be able to pick him just now. He does pick him actually, I was completely wrong. And uh, Jukebox is gonna be the man to do it now. Jukebox and Leon. Jukebox can take right. it down. Where's Leon? Where is he? Oh, he's there. He's in the super secret highway. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here comes Leon. He knows. Uh, soldier was looking at him. He is gonna take down the soldier, I would say. Um, if not for terrible aim. Um, there's two players actually stuck now. Torn is gonna have to switch. Um, as I said earlier though, the time is gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be too little too late for your attack, I'd say. Yeah, I think so. That was a real feel though. If you were watching that, uh, what happened in Choke, it was like... Extremer and the Sucker against Torn and Magnuson. But Torn somehow managed to get himself behind them and trapped. I mean, Zipper Fiat, he was standing on stickies and just got nuked. Uh, really quite bizarre, quite terrible to be honest. What's up, Seaver? State your game up, bro. But uh, Tavik's <laughs> gonna take down Zebusai here, and the Uber is pop. This is looking grim for Broder right now. Everybody is super low, and it's still six up for you, yep. Tech, right now. Here, Tech, got an extra round. So it's all about Makisum down. Oh, Makisum coming in. What is he gonna be able to do? Only two picks. Not gonna be enough. Uh, it's gonna be five to three. 1 minute 50 remaining, purely in theory it's still going to be possible to make it 5-5 in 2 rounds of 55 seconds. It is possible, but they're going to have to go Batman aggressive on this move. Batman aggressive, yes, yes. Batman skill players here coming out. Magasim is faster actually, gets a nice sticky onto Extremer, only does minimal damage though. So. Yeah. And Zebo is getting focused down here. Yep. It's the heavy again, Dr. Leon, he's on the high ground right now. He's Spam is coming, Torn is only 15 HP. <laughs> Look at that, Torn is stuck, he cannot get out, possibly. He's 40 HP, he's gonna be 70 HP now, and Yotek is just gonna keep on pushing. Um, Yotek is actually, are they gonna cap that? Tafik is gonna have to fight, uh, it's gonna be a 3 versus 1 situation, they're gonna be fine. Gonna cap middle and this game is over now. It's really nice how they took down that middle, actually, it was like, yep. every player did damage at once. It was headshot there from Jukebox onto Extremer. Prozac coming in from behind, Leon laying down that constant fire, really nice execution there. And it is going to be 5-3 uh, I guess, maybe 6-3. Might be 6-3, but you that's, uh, you that's all she wrote for this map to be honest, Broder is going to win it. Uh, with 39 seconds remaining on the clock, Broder is going to grab some frag, Jirutak so actually trying to get their aim up for just a little bit and uh, just to make sure that they don't get sniped, Leon did and uh, they actually changed the map already. Game is over!
Well played to Broder there for taking the map. Either 5-3 to three or 6-3, to three, we don't know. But that was uh, definitely a win for Broder on the second map here in the TF2, Team Fortress 2, Winter Warm-Up Invite Cup. Uh, hosted by Excello. Thank you very much for Excello. And uh, sponsored by Sparkle. Check out their graphics card, which is up for grabs here tonight in the Excello Cup. Thank you very much for joining us. And we're going to go on to the third.